Okay, welcome back crew. Uh, it's happy days again, and we've just started fighting the Eye of Cthulhu. Uh, I think we must get slower, unfortunately. Is the ball of hurt any better? So sorry, I started recording halfway through. I think the shurikens are still a better option. The other weapons would need an arena to be more useful. And I don't really feel like setting up an arena for Eye of Cthulhu. Twins maybe, Cthulhu no. So, uh, it is a Blood Moon again. I don't know what about the way I'm playing this is making them spawn so frequently. But there you go. So, uh, I'm hoping to nail two of these Cthulhu's tonight. Um, and just really get those demonoid, demonite ores going. And then we can tackle the Eater of Worlds nice and quickly. So, you can see the zombies are having lots of fun down below. I'm going to ignore them for now. Thankfully they're not climbing up, which is good. And you can see the moon up in the corner there. It's still pretty early on in the night, so I'm thinking two eyes uh, should be okay. Alright, so it's up to second form. Alright, taking a bit of damage unfortunately. That's okay. Just keep nailing this as much as possible. Make sure it stays in the air. Didn't mean to get hit again there. It seems the timer for it to do its second attack is very short. Okay, so here it comes. It's almost dead. It's a shame the shurikens can't be auto-fired. I'll just wait till it comes up. And there we go. Alright, more demonite. And we're straight back into it here. Chaining the Cthulhu's. Probably could have gotten through three in one night. So just remember if you're watching this, I'm not a new Terraria player and when I first got the game and fought the Cthulhu for the first time, I was like, holy, you know what, it, um, it absolutely pounded the stuffing out of me. Just because I, I didn't think, I didn't expect this game to have bosses the way it does. And they do bosses really well, like, they're so much more difficult than ordinary monsters. And if you can figure out their strategy, you can beat them, but... Yeah, when I... Put, the first time I fought Cthulhu, I was just, yeah, got totally hammered by it. So... Yeah, so remember, I, I'm not a new Terraria player, I'm just enjoying the Let's Play here. Um, and that's probably why getting through to hard mode is going to be relatively easy. Uh, it still doesn't mean hard mode's going to be a walk in the park. You know, there's not much you can do about this sheer amount of damage most of the enemies deal to you. But, yeah. But that's probably why I'm really taking out these early bosses with not too much trouble. I'm anticipating the Eater of Worlds is going to be fairly easy too. Well, actually that said... Easy, but not. It'll depend. My health is very low. Okay, it's gonna change soon. Ah, rats. Didn't quite get the damage in in time. Ah, done. Missed about a hundred attacks there. That's a shame. Yeah, unfortunately, because the musket doesn't auto fire, it's the shurikens are actually better damage dealers against this. The musket would be better just against random enemies, but not not this, uh, unfortunately. Oop. I'll stay healed up just in case. Okay, so comfortably made the second night here. I mean the Cthulhu battles. And I'll just wait to kill it. Over you come. And done. Alright, so how much ore did we get then? So we've got some more corruption seeds, which is sweet. And demonite ore, 149. So I think it's four... Ooh, even the fish turn evil 
So it's a corrupt fish. Not good. I'm probably not going to need to fight Aya Cthulhu anymore. So I'm not going to bother farming any more lenses. For now. So. So what we'll do. Uh, the goal is to get the Nightmare Pickaxe. And then anything else is a bonus on top of that. So 37. We've got 52 and 40. Alright, let's see what we can make at the anvil. Alright. So... You can make a... Can you make a Nightmare Pickaxe? I thought you could. Maybe you can't. Am I missing something here? The human bow, light, Spain. Oh, you need, um... That's what it was. You need the shadow scales from the uh, Destroyer of Worlds. I knew I was missing something. <laughs> so that's actually making the armor. I, mean, I can't make the armor. I need shadow scales. Well, I can't barely make anything. So I'll probably make the light spain maybe just to improve our chain knife. It says it's very fast, so hopefully it's auto attack. Uh, the axe looks like a good upgrade, although axe upgrades are not critical. Because it's not like there's different woods you can harvest. Though that would be a cool addition to Terraria. Uh, well, in that case, you get Demonite Ore from the Destroyer too. So what I might do is just make Lightsbane. Ah, I made a bad one. Let's just see if it auto attacks. No, it doesn't. That's a shame. Damaged. 15. Mm, it's not really an upgrade at the moment. I'll bring it along and we'll test it out on the road. So, um, should I try and upgrade my armor? I probably should just grab a few bits of iron stuff. I mean lead. 2, 3, and 3, 6, 8. And it needs 30, 50. Ooh. No. So 30 is 3. I don't think the benefits are worth using all the the lead ore up, to be honest. Because lead is, um, lead's used in a lot of, can I get that star from inside? No. Lead's used in a lot of, um, of the mechanical uh, crafting that you do later in the game. So yeah, I'm just not seeing the benefit there at the moment. So what we'll do, sell these recalls, I don't need them. Disappointed that Light's Bane came out so poor. I could roll another one, but I just, I'd rather keep the. Yeah, so to take out the Eater of Worlds, I'll need the Ball of Hurt. You've got plenty of potions. So the Ball of Hurt and the Musket. But the Ball of Hurt will be the main damage dealer. Okay, potions. I'll need an Iron Skin. I'll leave the Corrupt Seeds here for now. And I don't think anything else is going to help there. No, I might as well use one. We're going underground. And that's pretty much it. So we're either going to be able to beat it, um, or it's going to just completely punish us. So we'll start going over now. And I'll just pause it here, just make sure that... Oh, actually, no, I only just started filming six minutes ago. That's fine. Cool. I was going to pause the video. I'm not. I need a timer next to me to know how long I'm recording for. Okay. All right. So let's get going. So what I'm hoping is that the Eater of Worlds doesn't do so much damage that we can barely stay alive. I'd be happy if it does like. Probably 30 a hit at the most is what I can stand against it. Otherwise, we're going to have to come back later with more health. If it does something like 60 damage a hit, this is going to be a tough call. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh yeah, Blood Moon, they're everywhere. So remember, you want to set up an arena for the Eater, which this spot looks reasonable-ish. It's not fantastic, but it's not terrible either. Okay, so we just want to get... 
hopefully that moon ends soon. So we're just going to make a bit of a walkway. So much enemies. Ah oh, yes, musket. That's better. Ah yes. We like that. The only problem with the musket is it's so darn slow. Whoop. Killer worms. Killer worms. Help. Man, it makes it hard to do anything during a blood moon. So I'm just sorting out my hot bar so I can quickly change. Ah. Alright. Okay, so we got that. Ah! Mm, I'm a little concerned we're taking a ton of damage just from these basic enemies. So I'm thinking maybe we're not, or we might be a bit in over our head here. But this should be enough room to fight the destroyer in anyway. Uh, now I just need to make a place that we can grapple onto with our uh, hook. So part of fighting the destroyer is being able to stay out of its range. So, let's see. I'll just bring the slime hook over so I can quickly change between those. Okay, so let's go. We've got platforms. Now we're going to need more than that. Why am I even worrying about platforms? It gives you a little bit more jumping room because you can jump through platforms. So rather than using solid blocks. Oh good. So the benefit is you can still hook them, but you can jump through them as well. So it just gives you that tiny bit more maneuverability. Remember Terraria and its bosses are all about your ability to... Oh this is handy. <laughs> It's all about how how quick you can move around. Most of the end bosses you can beat with lesser gear if you just have like the, the angel wings and graviton potions. Granted you can barely take a hit, but hey, it's all good. Alright, we're almost ready. Now I can't remember if because I shattered to shadow orbs and then stopped for a while, does the game reset it or are they still ready to rock? So we'll find out very shortly. So let's take that off. So it's not the biggest arena, but it's pretty much all I need. So I've got... Seven. Oh, oh it's a slime. I was like, what's hitting me? So just going to have a quick look around and see if there's any shadow orbs near the surface. Is that one? No, it's a jellyfish. Okay. Uh, can't get through there, unfortunately. I think the blood moon's finally finished. Okay, this probably might be the best spot to get in. So what we'll do is quick little wall here. And wall up there, and then when we throw in the, that'll get it started. Okay. Unfortunately, this is going to be a bit touch and go. Ah, went the wrong way. We've got three left. This is doable. This is doable. Oh no! Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm so sorry guys, I thought I could do this. I'm not sure where all my extra bombs have gone. Alright, I'm going to stay right down here. There we go. Oh, we might still make it, if I can get it just in the sweet spot. Okay, so we need to make this wall super high. If it hits square on there, 
should be sweet. If I put that there. Darn it. Just missed. Just missed. Oh no, we did it. Sweet. Okay, it's go time. Whoa. Hello, big boy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just listening for it. Okay, so I'm going to go ball of hurt here. As you can see, the ball of hurt hits multiple segments. Now the next thing we're looking to do is try and hit it in the head. Ah. Because if we can do that, we actually will get critical hits in on it. Oh good, we're not taking too much damage. Ah, uh, yeah. So if you can get critical hits... I just need to change my hotkeys, they're not working. Okay, I need two and one. Okay. There we go. That's better. Ah. Okay. Just lacking a bit of damage, unfortunately. Okay, got another head. Yep. Oh, it's split into two. Okay, here we go. I think we're going to be able to do this. This is good. Ah. Okay. Yes. Okay, we're doing good. And this is why this setup works so well. Well, it works for me anyway. Just because you can... Sort of... Ah, oh, no, 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 no. I'm still seven seconds off a heal. Sorry, I'm just listening for it. Oh, close. Ah! Okay, got a few good hits in there. Uh-oh. 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 They're everywhere. This is what usually happens against this boss. Ah. Okay, we're getting some hearts off the segments at least. So because it uses a, a static targeting and it'll chase you where it last saw you, if you move at the last second, you can dodge like that. Just have to listen a bit closely. Okay, cool. Oh no, we split it up again. And again. And again. Okay, we're getting there. Yes. Cool, got a few crits in there. That's good. For those shadow scales it's dropping are going to let us craft all the nightmare gear. Or demonite, or what's it called? Nightmare pickaxe? Demonite stuff? Shadow armor? Can't remember. Yes! We did it! Excellent! And we got a new vanity item. Let's try it out. Oh, don't we look sexy? Oh, hello! Hello, big woman! I just put your head on my body! Oh yeah, you look at Nas. Oh, that's Nas. It kind of looks like a bear, or it looks like. Oh, that's crazy. Anyway, so what did we get? We got, we got some more demonite ore, and more importantly, we got the shadow scales. We got some worm tooth and rotten chunk, which means we can spawn more of the, more of the worms if we wish. And I don't think it has to be night time, you just have to be in corruption. So let's... Let's go back... To our base and see if... We can make some cool new gear. Now that we've killed the... Ooh, check it out. Okay, so this is going pretty nice. 
So you just give it a clear every once in a while and... I don't have any stone, I can't continue the wall. Um, if you give it a clear, it gives a chance for new mushrooms to grow. Speaking of mushrooms... Uh, so, yeah. Let's go back up here. So I'll just finish crafting the gear and we'll end the video there. Now that we've killed the destroyer, um, we should start to see uh, meteorites falling, which is really cool. All right. And now if we go to the anvil, so yeah, so our next thing will be to mine some meteorite. So there's the pickaxe. There you are. All right. So hellstone. Oh, we've skipped. What have I done here? Is it gold hammers can mine? See, we're doing so well. I've jumped a tier. I don't. I don't really know how I've done it, but we've jumped them. So this can mine meteorite. Well, that's easy. Oh well. So, 12 and 6, so let's take a pickaxe. I always take the pickaxe over everything else. Um, because your pickaxe unlocks the next tier. So we can technically get hellstone now, which is pretty cool. Um, let's see, how much is the armor? 20, 25, 15. Cool, 40, 60. Oh, I'm just short. I don't have enough shadow scales anyway. I'm just thinking if we get one piece of the armor, it's going to give us just a massive defense increase. What's the best bang for the buck? Probably just the helmet. Um, this does extend our underwater, underwater breathing at the moment though. So maybe go the... It's so cheap though. Okay, we'll get the boots. Put that on, get rid of the cactus boots. So now we have these funky purple slippers on as well. And we're up to 27 defense, which is pretty cool. We really, I'd really like to start finding some uh, life hearts. I was gonna say love hearts. So we can sell off our silver pickaxe. We don't need that anymore. Cool. Uh, what a, ooh, gee, they're worth a lot. I'll keep the vanity item. Anything else worth selling? I don't see myself using life's Light's Bane, but it is a material in another weapon. So let's just see. I think it's used in Knight's Edge. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. So I need a Murasama, Blade of Grass, and a Great Sword. All right, I'll put it in the weapons box and see if we can make the Knight's Edge later. And Stefano is in front of our chest again. I've made a weapon box there, and maybe it's not in the best spot. I could move it to here, but then it blocks the door. Okay. All right, guys, going to end that video there. Uh, in the next video, probably check out the underground frost uh, biome. Try and find some hearts. Really can't tackle the jungle just yet because we're just not strong enough to just not strong enough defense wise to tackle it the other option is we have got worm tooth i'll just check the recipe for another destroyer i mean a eater of worlds we could make some worm food vile powder rotten chunks i think i've got enough to make worm food which you use vile mushrooms for. How do you turn them into powder? I think you need an alchemy table. Luckily, they're easy to make. You just need one glass bottle and a table. So I can probably put it right here. Beautiful. And that opens up alchemy. So making the vile powder. Okay. And then I think worm food you've got to make at a demon altar. So I'll just hang on to this. Don't need those. All right, so next video, in between, I might farm the Eater of Worlds again to get enough demon or to make a full shadow set. And then, yeah, it's just what we want to do. I could mine some meteorite and get the spacesuit. 
Um, so we can get user space gun. Um, so yeah, we'll just see, leave a comment, you know, see what, what do you think is the best progression from here. We're probably really just need to spend some time getting our life up next. So although while we keep our defense high, we're probably pretty safe. Anyway, uh, so don't forget to subscribe. Uh, just click that smiley face in the top corner there and stay happy guys. I'll see you next game. See ya.